the benefit of metal spinning is actually a savings from machining billet material that you can save about 50 percent from one piece to a couple thousand we do a lot of prototyping before they go to deep draw or um, hydroforming or stamping because the tooling is a lot less expensive our tooling would be a few hundred dollars theirs is thousands of dollars so they can prototype it out to make sure everything's done right and get all their bugs out of it Hi, I'm George Friedrich from OW Landergren, and we specialize in metal spinning. It's like doing pottery with metal. You're taking forming a sheet metal over a mandrel. It's very old art. It's almost back like in the Egyptians almost. It's all by um, experience. It takes a long time to actually get to know how to spin and to be able to control the metal. What sets us apart from other metal spinning companies is that we do a complete product. We'll do the welding, the metal fabrication, the machining, uh, inserts, and actually we'll take care of the plating and anodizing for the customer. Sizes we spend from quarter inch diameter to 10 foot diameter. The material ranges from uh, aluminum, stainless, copper, brass, uh, exotics like nickel, Inconel, uh, titanium, tantalum. This one here is actually a, a spinning, some stampings, some uh, screw machine house. So we actually have other parts that we send us out and we get a dip raise, this little parts dip raise on and this is actually a drain tube which is dip raised in. This is the tooling actually that makes this cup that starts out with a flat disc and they'll make that cup under here. There's a lot of people think, oh geez, that's gonna be out of a billet piece of material. So actually they'll say, no, you can do that out of a piece of sheet metal and save all the machining time. When you're spinning it, it actually sometimes strengthens the material because you're changing the grain structure. It's a lot of it's low volume. We can do higher volume too, but a lot of them, sometimes we do one-offs you know, for just a prototype and we do up to you know, 5,000, 10,000 pieces sometimes too. This is one of our simpler parts, is basically two operations. You'll start out with a flat disc, you'll form it over our mandrel, and then actually you'll do a second operation. This part would fit inside the mandrel, and then you spin over this side to get the next operation. This here is we start out with perforated metal, and we'll cut uh, like a pie shape, and then we'll roll and weld it, and then we spin over it, it's hemmed over, and then we actually make the brackets and another spinning inside and spot welded inside. We send it out to get plated, uh, electro polish, powder coat, and annealing, anodized. And we do do a lot of uh, machining and fabrication and welding in-house. Our science ranges from about quarter inch in diameter up to 10 foot in diameter. Thickness wise, we can go from about 10,000 thick up to 3 16 thick. This part actually shows you some capabilities we have. This actually starts out with a flat disc probably maybe eight inches in diameter, and we'll actually we'll spin it in different operations and different chucks and break it down at angles so you can do cones, tapers, you can actually do uh, reverse. This is a seamless one piece made out of a flat disc. And I say this here is uh, another part that we spin out of a flat piece of sheet metal. This is made out of one piece. We'll start out well with a disc, and actually we'll spin the part completely around the tooling and then the part comes off with the tooling and the tooling comes out in pieces as you can see the seams from the tooling on the inside of the part. This is basically the same concept and this is actually a centrifuge bowl for the medical industry where they'll actually separate your blood in. And this is made the same way. This is made out of a flat sheet metal and it, you spin it over the tool. The tool comes off and comes out in pieces like a puzzle. We have to hold within about plus or minus three thousandths. It's all by hand with secondary operations. Machining. This is steel. It's actually uh, just got plating on it to keep it from rusting. But this is actually, we spin this, put the holes in it, and then we actually spot weld a grid into it. And this is actually for the end of an electric motor. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.